Hey guys, Rich here. Just doing a little uh, video update here. I'm uh, playing with uh, Arduino and I've got a Adafruit uh, 16 by 12 bit pulse with, with mod modulation and servo shield and um, hooking it up so I'm going to trigger events with this little car mp3 player remote control you can use any remote control but uh, I've hooked up a infrared receiver to the Arduino through the servo shield and you can trigger stuff like this like servo movements and I could you know I could re relabel that EQ uh, silk screen it on and have a grip a little grip guy or something you know so I could configure any of these buttons to trigger servo events basically that's it so I'm just gonna walk through real quick how I did it in a real quick video so um, let's start with the beginning here um, this is the Adafruit shield but to get back to how to hook up the infrared this is the infrared sensor that I got from a DVD player I think um, I'm going to take off the shield and I'll show you the I'll show you the pins that I interfaced with and then I just jumped it out on the shield but so I started like this and I got jumpers from um, the 5 volt and the ground and one of the pin 11 here in the ground as well um, those are the pins that you hook up to the infrared and I found that out on a page here it's called fibidi.com and Arduino plus infrared receiver module it's instructions on how to connect a LED infrared receiver to uh, read to read button codes from a remote and how to control the Arduino with such a remote so all you need is your Arduino the infrared it says you need a an LED here but you don't really need it uh, an infrared um, receiver and your Arduino so I started like that and I hooked up the infrared and started receiving codes so once I, I figured out that worked I put the shield on because I wanted to control the servos so all I did was I jumped the pins from 5 volt ground and digital number 2 to my infrared so that's how to hook it up like that and we'll hook it back up here and turn it back on and then what I did was I got a program they gave give you a program I believe it's in the servo library here uh, this is the Arduino software so you would go once you've loaded the library you go to examples and then servo add a fruit oh that's this the uh, servo example but uh, there's an infrared remote one here and you can record infrared signals that come in if you have this hooked up right to your Arduino and I'll show you that right now open up uh, read infrared so if I actually load this it should show the I just uploaded it I hit the upload button to the Arduino here and once it's loaded it should read the infrared codes from my uh, controller in this serial monitor right here so if it works well there you go so all I did was I hit the buttons and I mapped out the infrared codes to a text file here and then I've got <clears throat> my car mp3 infrared remote 0 to 9 hex codes and uh, channel minus plus everything's mapped so once I've got the numbers from it map I, I basically record all the numbers I can go into what I did was I mixed the infrared example here infrared remote um, forgot which one I did but I mixed I copied and pasted from the infrared remote uh, example where you trigger an LED on and off and instead of triggering the LED on and off I blocked out the code and controlled the servo so this is and then I, I copied the uh, Adafruit 
servo example here, the code from that. I copied and then pasted into the spot where it triggered the LED on and off. I actually trigger the servo to, to do whatever I want. So all you have to do though is uh, make sure you include the right uh, servo drivers and all this stuff here. And then I modified the servo maximum and minimum you know, that's optional but to be a uh, you know a smaller amount and as you can see it's not working now because I've got to upload this sketch they call it to the infrared uh, or to the Arduino there so the infrared will work and once it's uploaded you can see it should work so all it's doing is it's calling the right uh, drivers or whatever little so the language works here and I pasted it in and I blocked out say like this uh, digital right LED high this is uh, if if it's on if the state is on right here uh, then I paste it in my servo thing here and then once the state is off I paste it in the opposite direction instead of LED on and off it's this way and that way so it's just an update I can um, instead of on and off I could you know uh, trigger in different um, sequences you know da uh, once I have I haven't got my servos yet but once I have all my servos I can hook it up to the JD uh, JD robot and have it do different different you know uh, movements and dancing and whatnot if I triggered in I could have one to ten different sequences and then you can make them go forward and backwards or whatever you want so it's a good little system though I like the Arduino and um, this servo shields looks really promising uh, I had to add the capacitor here because it was the servos were jittering once I hooked I think four of them up or five of them up they weren't working that well so so that's the update for now uh, once I get more stuff 3D printed and uh, get my servos I'll show you more stuff alright so hope you enjoyed and I'll have more soon